Hey there and welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, we were a bit offline over the last few weeks, but now we are back uh, because data is always moving and there are soon some new developments I want to talk about in this video. Namely, the Search Console was revamped by Google. So at the beginning of 2018, they already announced this before. Whoops, this is not good. Okay, um, they announced this before they would actually um, uh, revamp the whole uh, interface of the search console and that has happened and is now rolled out to most of the users so we want to take a look as well. Now we are live right now and if you want to join us live um, the next time around if you see this in a replay then hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification icon so you'll always get updated once we are going live or we are uh, bringing out a new video. Um, for now, let's dive into this update section here. So um, Google has announced this on the 8th of January that there's a new search console out there. It brings in new features such as search performance, index coverage, AMP status, uh, job postings. And they describe this all in this blog post that you can check out. I will also link that up in the description below. Now, uh, what does this interface look like? Well, this is the old interface. So we have our search results uh, and our search console right here. You're probably very familiar with it if you are working a lot in SEO because this data is provided by Google to our convenience to actually make more sense of the search data um, that is coming through the search engine. And now they have this new redesign, which is pretty similar. And it reminds me a lot of what we see in Google Analytics, uh, Data Studio, and the other um, properties of the analytics suite. Now, obviously, this is not part of like the larger Google Analytics package because the data base of um, Search Console is actually coming from Google directly. It's not, it has nothing to do, I get this question uh, quite a lot, it has nothing to do with uh, how you install Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and all your tracking tools because the data is actually not um, generated by tracking codes. It is provided by the search engine by Google uh, to your convenience to uh, improve your results. So this is um, just a redesign of the interface. It brings a few more features here. So we have this uh, status bar, which is basically the, the dashboard of this whole thing. And we can see there are only uh, really um, three reports here and there's something here with the enhancements that is not yet uh, available. Now, as we can see, these reports are actually far less than what we have in the old search console. So there is a button right here to always go back to the old version if you find yourself in a new version and want to go back because you can't find your report. That said, we have some new uh, capabilities here. So once we go into the performance report, um, we find our metrics here, like in Google Analytics, we can click on and find the different um, graphs here for the CTA position and so on. So we can activate and deactivate them. And that was also um, something that is available in the analytics reports from the old interface. So uh, you have some capabilities here with the keywords as well. So we see the keywords down here as well. But um, what is new is actually these new filter options right here. So we'll be able to actually look at um, uh, multiple filters at the same time. So when we look at total clicks here, we can actually say, okay, I want, only want to look at a certain country. Uh, let's say the USA. Uh, oh, United States, okay. Uh, let's say United Kingdom. And if we want to compare this, is this actually something? Yeah, we can layer on the whole thing. So we can say here, want to layer on the United States. Oh, no, we can't layer on. So this is actually one of the um, downsides. We can't put in multiple filters and like uh, combine our segments. But what we can do, there is a compare feature here where we can say United States against uh, United Kingdom, for example, and we will get our uh, graphs here that will compare the metrics as well. So this is quite neat. Uh, the capabilities were not there uh, in, in the old search console. So there is a bit more flexibility inside of 
uh, how you can build your segments and look at the different data points inside of these reports. The other cool thing that um, is now available is that you have the date ranges much more, uh, or this was extended extremely. So you can look back actually full 12 months. I can go full duration here. Now I have found that this is for me, it's October 1st of 2016, I guess. It doesn't really say, but this must be 2016 if this is 2017 here. So um, it might be when I uh, actually turned over to HTTPS. Maybe that's when I started using this property. Um, I'd be I'd be interested if if you have a property available here with Search Console, uh, if you can go back further than that, or if this is uh, just on a two two year horizon, basically. Um, yeah. Now to get access to all of this, you actually, there is actually uh, this blog post, so you can go to this release beta version and then it will take you, no, it should take you, there, there is a help page that I've also linked up down below in the, in the um, description that you can click and then you go right to this, um, this new interface right here. So, okay, uh, once you have access to it, uh, you have these uh, different reports. The cool thing about this is also gives you a download button now. Now we have seen that the API of the Search Console was uh, opened up much more and you can now pull in data to Data Studio as well or into uh, Google Sheets with a plugin like um, Supermetrics. So the flexibility is definitely there with the data points that we have here, but it makes it more apparent in the interface itself. Now, the other reports are basically the index coverage report, which is replacing the uh, reports that we saw previously when we looked at if there were any errors. So here we have our index status. Uh, no, that shouldn't be it. Uh, our crawl errors, yes, our crawl errors here. So we can see our errors. Um, and, and this, this is the report that, that we would be used to. Now there are a few tools in here that uh, are not in the interface, but you can refine them basically by clicking on this error, which will open up this uh, redirect error report. And within this redirect error report, if you click on this, you can see there are a few tools available here as well to test this with the Robux TXT to fetch this as Google, view uh, a search result or submit to index. So these tools are still available. You can now also share them easily. So link sharing. Yeah, so uh, you can send this over to anyone who clicks the link can view this. Um, and this will be easily shared then as well, uh, like you do it in Google Docs, uh, or if you have a document that you wanna share. So overall, the, the tool set is revamped. We have a few more um, folded reports, so to say. So they, they are they are inside of um, different reporting structures. So you need to click around if you want to find one or the other report in here. But overall, we also see that not all of the features, not all of the reports are yet uh, in here. So when we click here on coming soon, they actually tell us that they haven't migrated everything, uh, that they hope to do that in the coming year. And that the well, some of the reports will not be ported over. So some of the reports um, will be revamped and won't be found uh, in that uh, capacity anymore. Now for now, I, I think that uh, you, can, you can normally still use your search console. Um, you can slowly start looking at uh, the redesign here as well and see if you have any more capabilities in this new reporting and get used to it because this will be the standard in probably at the end of the year. But then um, uh, the other search console, the old search console is still available to you as well. Now, some of the new features that were actually in this blog post, um, like for example, the AMP status, uh, we didn't see that in my interface. It's because I don't have uh, AMP uh, capabilities in my website. Uh, but if I click on this uh, help page and then on this link, I can open this uh, report up here and I have this AMP um, 
AMP reporting as well. Now I don't have AMP in here, so this will be something that uh, will be relevant if you have AMP in this, uh, enabled. You'll find some reporting here. Now if we look down in the blog post, what it would look like, uh, it doesn't really give us any any meaningful uh, screenshot of that. Uh, at the same time, we have job postings. Now, this is something for uh, certain regions that can, um, where where job postings are actually something that, that are introduced into Google. And that's not the case for me as well. And I don't have the markup for it as well. So I wouldn't find anything right here in my reporting. But there might be something that you are interested in. So you might be able to uh, use this as well. The last report here we see uh, are the sitemaps, so you can submit a sitemap like you were able to do in the old Search Console. So overall, when we look at this new update, I would say that we now have uh, a new design. You need to get used to that. It's the same with AdWords, the same with Google Analytics. It's the same uh, with Data Studio, although Data Studio wasn't really... Um, it was a new tool and then it was it was already in a new interface so there wasn't a big change there um so the new interface will be something to get used to but also the new capabilities will come into the interface into the new interface into the new search console uh, in a while so i'll keep an eye on uh, if there are any new interesting reports that give us really more data, I think the capabilities of uh, the new filters, the new segmentation are really nicely done. So uh, we have more data available, but also we can download that data and we have this uh, huge improved um, uh, look back period that is now uh, available to us. Now, um, this, this is actually possible because the data doesn't come from a tracking code that we have to install. It's something that Google has anyway. The data is on Google's side and they now provide it. So uh, that's really nicely done inside of the interface. Now, um, other than that, it is uh, really, when I looked at it, it's really minor at the moment, but probably will be more extensive over the coming months once they introduce new and new reports uh, to get used to inside of the interface. All right, so this is it with our little uh, introduction here to the um, new Search Console. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up. And also if you subscribe, want to subscribe to the channel, then head over to this button right there because we're bringing you new videos just like this one and live streams every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.